Welcome back. You're watching the UBC News tonight, broadcasting live from Nile Avenue, also online on YouTube under the name tag UBC Television Uganda. We'll now take you to more news. A land grabbing conspiracy has been foiled in Kasanda District. The Minister for General Duties in the office of the Prime Minister, Justin Kasule Lumumba, says that the process was conducted without knowledge of the rightful occupant. This was unearthed during a local accountability meeting by the office of the Prime Minister at Bukuya Town Council headquarters in Kasanda District. A contested freehold land whose lease expired last year, lying on five square miles in Kitumba, sub-county, Kasanda, has brought an ease in eight villages in the district. It is said that bona fide occupants were sidelined by the district officials contrary to the Land Act. From the information we've been given, we are processed by, with the help of some people, some technical people in Kasanda, but majorly processed by people in Mubende, the mother district, to go and evict eight, eight villages. This is unacceptable. Yes, the lease expired, but there are people who are subsisting on this land. And they applied, but they were never considered. Then one individual is considered. In all fairness, no, that shouldn't be. Member of Parliament for Bukuya County, Dr. Michael Iga Chavikola, says the district officials planned to give away land to the land grabbers fraudulently. When the original person who got the lease had passed on, but what the district technical people did was to forge names of beneficiaries or descendants or administrators of the late and started the process of applying for lease without even going through the district land board. I think they have forged documents and they told us that these documents had reached the district registry office, the zone office in Mitiana, and they refused to give us access to who had applied. The Minister for General Duties, Justin Kasule Lumumba, ordered for the nullification of the land titles after discovering some hiccups in the whole exercise. It is actually the technical people who are conniving with the certain rich people to, to process land titles without the knowledge of the people who are subsisting on that land. So we have taken it up. And we, 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 we are going, especially the Chitumba, where eight, sub, eight, eight villages are affected, we are going to stop this process. The minister was presiding over a local accountability meeting, also known as Baraza, at Bukuya Town Council headquarters, Kasanda District. Kasanda resident district commissioner Phoebe Namalindwa committed to follow up the matter and put their house to order. We are going to convene a meeting with the cow specifically because the people who have been who are responsible uh, are his team. Okay, so we are going to engage all of them and they need to explain to us exactly what happened. Because when you look at our district land board, it was, in, it was constituted only that there are just a few things that were sent to the ministry and you all know what is happening in the ministry because of some internal issues that are at, at, at the Ministry of what? Uganda Land Commission. But otherwise, it would have been already what? Constituted and functioning. Kasanda District is amongst the districts in Buganda region where land evictions was a tool sabotaging National Resistance Movement Party during the general elections. Sandra Kahonde, Joseph Okou, UBC News.